you know, an Atom is a, is a shrunk down PC. Um, a Tegra is, a, is a, um, a, a new computer that's built from a blank sheet of paper. Um, Atom is PC compatible, and so that's, that's one of its advantages. And its mission was to reduce the power of a PC and, and reduce it, reduce it, reduce it. Um, the vision of Tegra was this. I told the engineers, I want you guys to build a sophisticated computer on a chip, and I want you guys to start with power of zero. Start with a power of zero. Don't add any power unless you absolutely have to. Don't add a feature unless you absolutely have to. And design something that draws almost no power. And the reason for that is because I believe that the mobile market, the mobile device, is going to be the second personal computer revolution. It is that important. It will, like, it will be our most important computer in 20 years. Right? I pick a number that makes it perfectly obvious. 20 years from now, it is perfectly obvious. It will be our most important computer. Well, if that's the case, um, and we realize that it is very rare for discontinuities to come from the top. Do you notice that a mainframe is not, our personal computer is not a shrunk down mainframe? Because the market is completely different, values completely different things, it doesn't need all the, the benefits that were created on the top. It just wants to be low power. It wants to access the internet. It wants to be able to do some basic things. Um, and those, so you gotta ask yourself, what are those basic things and work from the bottom line? Disruptive technologies tend to come from the bottom. So if Tegra has a, maybe, um, depending on which version of Atom you compare it against, it's either 100 times less power or about 15 to 20 times less power. That's a huge discontinuity. To be 10 times better at anything is pretty amazing. Okay. So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing, and also I believe that, that um, ARM and the internet doesn't care about the x86. Okay. Mobile and internet doesn't care about the x86. Not their numbers. Yeah, that's right. Um, and so, so that's the first one. Uh, on the rumors, I, I can't comment on rumors, um, but at the highest level, I, I would say this. Uh, we're one of the few companies in the world that is investing billions of dollars in the advancing of visual computing platforms. And visual computing matters in entertainment. And so I'm not sure whether uh, we will do one, two, or three, or zero game consoles in the future. Um, but I think we're doing the right things to position ourselves to be able to help those companies build a great product someday. Okay, so I have no, no design to tell you about and, and certainly no rumors to comment about. Um, but I think I'm doing all the right things to position ourselves into that space and to be prepared in the event uh, we could be of service to someone. Okay. 